So recently I made a review or a first impressions video on this game and as many of my previous first impressions end up, this one ended up in a grunt controversy. One that I didn't see coming for a long way. I mean, in my first impressions, I usually like to go on blind, so I'm, you know, have honest reactions to everything that I experience in the content. I didn't usually like to look into controversies either because I don't think they're usually connected to the game. But considering when it's a scam or, you know, you're, you're thinking you're paying for something, the original content of a game that the money's actually going to the actual developers, then and you're actually paying for something that you shouldn't have to be paying for that's not actually going to the developers which is what I'd consider a scam then you know I think it's worthwhile talking about and I think everyone should get a refund for this if they've actually bought it or if not then you should be checking out the free version which I will link in the description so the game is We Become What We Behold by Mismatch Studio or Nikki Case who now it says originally even though originally it didn't say that. And as you can see here, some of the other games that they've published can apparently be found on itch.io as well. Copycat, something which when I look through what else the Mismatch Studios, the developers have made for this game, they've also apparently, which this was released on the same day, which was released on the same day, you can see Copycat, that's going up soon, which is just a game they've copy and pasted here, copy and pasted. As I said, the problem is they're not adding anything of value or of their own original content. They're not adding anything that's transformative or anything. They've they've released three games on the same day, 10th of July, which is when I played We Became What We Behold, Behold which was yesterday as of the time of recording this video. The, the Cube, which, you know, Rubik's Cube, I'm pretty sure that can get the MCA because I'm pretty sure they've got a license for that stupid bat. Now what I find is surprising is that both $3 as well. I wonder if they're all free games however. I mean they've officially released a statement, the quote mismatch studio or developers, which say, Hi all, regarding our recent publishing of We Become What We Behold in Steam, it was not our intention to piss off anyone nor to impersonate or scam anybody. We also credited Nick as originally author. You'd did but you left out the detail that she hadn't or he had nothing to do with the actual making of the game um, or sorry porting of the game or anything you just merely mentioned it as the author you didn't actually say that they had nothing to do with you know you connecting like they didn't even know that you're what bring it over to steam in the first place as well as the fact that you know you, you didn't tell anyone about it i would say that it's a scam and it's quite similar to impersonation because the money is going to you which does piss off people the fact that they're paying someone else when they think they're supporting another person who actually does work but on the contrary to create a standalone version of a great game and bring it to the broader audience on steam quote by uh sorry brackets by using a source code that was already shared with everybody yeah so they they're going off the um defense that a lot of people have been saying where it's legally allowable so what you're essentially building as your defense is legally we can do this when to me that's just pointing out the flaw in this which is the fact that it is a legal loophole that you have explored to be able to gain money off copy and pasting someone else's work and pretending to be them essentially in order to sell it off half truths that that is a scam in essence maybe not the legal definition but it is a scam that people are paying someone thinking that's the official way to get it when the official way is completely for free and you know is actually giving doing something with those whereas this you know they they edited but not properly because you're you know pretending to be them essentially <clears throat> we emailed nick to apologize for this and already asked him to take it down because that's the right thing to do i hope it does get taken down but my concern is the fact that you know are you taking down the other games that you're gonna copy and paste like copy and copycat and are you planning to stop releasing game or you know releasing games which you're just porting over from other people um are they also legal and as well biggest and foremost are you actually giving the money back to the developer like what are you doing with that money that you just earned off them off their name i mean i for instance got my refund i don't know if anyone else is going to get their refund they bled better bloody they deserve to you know they should because they have a game that should be free. You know, it doesn't really clarify things. And, you know, a lot of people are saying, you know, that he's going to file a DMC or whatever. And time and time and again, he's been saying, 
you know, in a string of tweets that he wasn't planning on following the DMCA. He was just letting them know, this isn't me, you know, but that there was nothing originally to state that this was me, even though originally there was nothing to quote actually state that he had nothing that even though now, even though now you can see it says stuff like this is not an official pull from him, which was a put in later that wasn't there yesterday you know same same as how it says originally with the in brackets where it says developer that also wasn't there it just said nikki there originally so we we were just under the assumption that this was being put out by nikki case which wasn't the which isn't the case at all as you can see here is a screenshot where you can see nikki case without any things saying that you know she's only the person who actually worked on the original copy, not the person that's actually releasing this version that you're paying for. So again, if you want this, it's on itch.io, it's completely free, don't get the Steam version, and it will be taken down anyway, apparently. Oh, I'll, I'll see to if it actually does, but uh, mm, just try not to get scammed, everyone.